Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we have to go catch up with Capon because he left us. Uh, I did drop my lightly padded armor that I believe we got from... I think we might have stole it <laughs> a long time ago. Either way, it was really heavy. It did give us a decent amount of protection, but I feel like we're not fighting that much right now. So for all that extra weight, I might as well drop it. We also have like 99... Uh like hair meat in our inventory. 99. Look. 99 hair meat. What am I going to do with 99 hair meat? Could sell it. Doesn't seem to be worth that much. Could cook it, I guess. That's a whole other thing. Okay, where is this guy? I'm gonna pass out just trying to get to him. Oh, there's his horse. I'm here. And it's been freshly rooted. There'll be boar somewhere nearby. So, just like last time, slow and quiet. Whatever you do, understand? Well, watch out for them from the top of that mound there. Okay. I'm feeling very stealthy. It's a murder bush scenario. You want to take him down with an arrow? Certainly. Why, why wouldn't I? You won't kill him like that. Boar is hunted with spears. Is that so? So now all of a sudden you're a master huntsman, are you? <laughs> Watch and learn. Oh god, this is going to go badly. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Damn, I'm good! Okay. <laughs> Quiet! So... Next time you try to tell me I can't kill a boar with an arrow... Oh, look at him! He's gone. Fuck! After him! Fetch! Mount up, Henry! Chase down that swine! Mount up! Okay, is he taking me with him this time? Follow hands. Done. Yeah! Well, he's leaving me! He's leaving me. All right. Well, I'll follow this direction, I guess. Run down the boar. Failed. Okay, nailed it. That's good. Now I have to find Hans. That's good as well. Jeez, okay. <laughs> I imagine, like, obviously we don't have a horse, so... And he said mount up and then just left. I don't know what that's about. Like, should I be having a horse here? Is that the thing? That would be nice. Not gonna lie. Where is he? Come on. Where are you? I think that when it's like this, it means he can just be anywhere in the area. I lost him in the woods. Frick. I'm gonna try and like stay near the path, I guess. I mean, he could be any. He can be anywhere. Uh. There's deer over there. Capon! Oh! Oh! Hold on. We've got action here. 
Oh, no way. You wretches! Your mothers shut you out, and your sisters have bigger cops. How are we gonna rescue him? Free from clutches of the cumans before something happens to him? Okay, we got one guy sitting right there in front of him. You wretches! Your mothers shut you out, and your sisters have Before bigger cocks than you. I'm pretty sure I can't just walk up there. That guy's like staring at him. Uh oh. Oh, they freaking saw me. I've got a club and he's got full swords. And there's two of them. Great. Oh, that was good. Oh! That whole, like, where we hold to one side and then switch it up. He doesn't like that one. That actually gets him good. Oh, what? We're actually doing really good against him. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, you think? I don't freaking think so. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not that sorry. I'm gonna, I need your sword. I need the sword real bad. There we go. Now we'll see how you feel. Frick. Demands better abilities, so its effectiveness is greatly reduced. Okay. Never mind. Everything just got really heavy as well. Human ear? Okay, I'm gonna drop this then. And since we have so much of this, I don't know why it splits it weird. I need to be able to move faster. What else can we drop? Oh, the shield! Yeah, let's ditch that. The bludgeon seems just fine. I have an arrow sticking out of me. Oh, hello. Shit, shit. This guy's good. That's a really easy attack that they seem to, like, always fall for. If I hold down and then swipe from above. Oh, shit. Okay, not that time. Damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll have him pay us let you go. for this all right. effort. And hand over all your coin. Groschen. Don't pretend you don't understand. I feel like a bad person, but it's deserved. The Ganai Turok mean that for my white talk. All right. Knight's hunting sword. Is that something we can use? Minimum agility of six. And we have... Four. All right. So that's not great. But we fended him off with just a bludgeon. That's actually not bad. That, like, fake attack works pretty well. Happily, this guy chase the <laughs> off to chase the boar. Where does he end up? Human camp. 
I'll have a bronze bust made of you, my friend. But where have you been till now? Oh, you know, I was picking berries, had a drink of wine, took a little nap. <laughs> <laughs> you lunatic! They almost had me roasting on a spit! <laughs> I'd say it looked more like they were about to take your maidenhood. Now look here, dung grubber. Is that any way to speak to a nobleman? Literally bipolar. A nobleman with crushed balls, friend. <laughs> <laughs> now you're playing with fire, boy. I could have you in the pillory for that. And then with my own two hands, I'd... Crush your balls! <laughs> that wound doesn't look good, Sir Hans. You're right. Those cumin swine roughed me up a bit. And my damned horse is bolted. You'll have to get me home somehow. <laughs> You'll have to get me home somehow. The sooner somehow. we get out of here, the better. Who knows how many bandits are creeping around here. Let's go, then. I've had quite enough excitement already. It's really great timing on us ditching uh, the armor that we had. Really great timing. We survived, but there was a couple times there where they hit us with two or three combos. It's Lord Capon! Get here, everybody! Watch the town, like, blame me for this. You, help him! Pray. Done. Buddy, it's called. <laughs> cool. How is it possible, Ratsy? Those bastards make so bold no more than a mile from the castle. We'll have to send out more patrols. That won't do us any good, Hanush. Even if we had ten times the men, we couldn't beat through every thicket in the fiefdom. You sent for me, sir? Come in. I don't know how to thank you, Henry. If it wasn't for you, Hans would be dead. But to think I sent you out with him as a punishment. I was only doing my duty, sir. Don't be so modest, young Henry. You showed not only courage, but loyalty to your liege. That's why I'm taking you into my personal service. Oh, cool. <laughs> there we go. Sir, I... Uh... Thank you, sir. Well, let's celebrate your promotion and Sir Hans's recovery. So don't just stand there, lad. Things are looking up for us. Mine's the whole we're still everyone's servant thing. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but I've urgent tidings. What now? A stable boy came from Neuhof. He says brigands raided the stud farm this morning. There's many dead or maimed. <laughs> Tell us exactly what happened. I'm not sure. The boy was so shook up he could barely speak. He said the bandits murdered for the joy of it. I'm sorry, sir. Your vassal Smill is dead. Who did this? Who were they? We don't know, sir. The stable boy just kept babbling about some huge fellow in black armor who led the attack. Take as many men as you need, and don't stop until you've found those bastards. And bring me their heads! Yes, sir. My men at your disposal too, Anush. Thank you, friend. Which means sir, me. Let me ride with them. Well, he's full of piss and vinegar, isn't he? Their leader. He must be the one who attacked me at Scarlet's. There can't be two men in the whole kingdom who look like that. You think he might still have my sword? No doubt you could use another swordsman, Captain. Uh, I'm more command, of a bludgeonman. How soon can you leave, Bernard? Soon as the men are ready, sir. Good. Wait in the courtyard for Henry, and uh, give him a horse. Yes, there we his go. own mount, his reward for saving Sir Hans. He'll need it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, go. I want these culprits in the hands of the executioner as soon as possible. I won't let you down, sir. I need a sword real bad. I think I need to go to the blacksmith. So we don't have the agility for the other one, I think, right? Go to Neuhof where Runt was seen. 
Get your arses mounted up and let's ride out. On the double. Maybe we'll catch up with that rabble. Okay, before I report... Oh, wait. Minimum agility 6 is not... Oh, okay, it is. It wasn't for a second there. Alright. Well... Do I have anything else in here? Not yet. Okay, so I'm thinking I should probably... Oh, we're actually very close to the blacksmith. I'm gonna see if we can't... Get just any sword, honestly. Would be good. We have some money, Jesus but... Christ be praised. So you can do repairs for us. How much is it to repair this? Point 0.1. Or we could do everything. Which is pretty expensive, actually. But that's because... Well, most of the stuff is good. This one we don't need. Let's see if he'll make us a deal. We were a blacksmith once. Let's, Let's talk about one. the price. Well, we can try it. How about we do it for an even 32? What do you say to this? More. Okay, great. 35. Finally, a reasonable sum. Saving pennies here and there, it's not bad. Now, in terms of weapons, what do you have? Axes, carpenter's axe, like a robber's sword? He's got decent money. Wonder if I could use this. If I compare it to the one that we have, it's bad, right? But I could sell this one because I can't even use it yet. And then... If we focus on damage... This would be decent. I think we can use it. So we tell minimum strength of one. Let's talk about the price. Hmm, all right, so. Okay, so I want to pay less. <laughs> How about 60? Are we agreed? Well, a little more. I don't think they've ever we'll accepted my first offer, unfortunately. 64. Finally, a reasonable sum. All right. Okay, so at least we have a sword. It's not amazing. It's not amazing. But I'll take it. Do we have any unused points? I don't think so. Level 3 for these. Alright. Because if we're going to get in a confrontation here, I don't want to be fighting with a wooden club anymore. And to be fair, even the even the gear that we have is kind of questionable right now. It's really not that great. We're wearing her ring. I should have I should have been wearing this too. I think we took that off. Can wear these. I think that's good. Oh, they're all on. Bernard, I'm ready. Put me in, Can coach. We go? Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready, Captain. Good. Then follow me. Keep quiet and do exactly as you're told. I don't know what Sir Radzig sees in you, and I don't care. If you're to ride with my men, I expect you to listen. Okay. Yes, sir. Against all better judgment, they've decided to give you your own horse. Thank you, I feel great now. Beside my stallion is yours. Make sure you take good care of him. Now, mount up and ride behind us. The dappled gray. 
This guy? Pebbles? All right, man. <laughs> I guess we're, we're on Pebbles. Last one there won't find me a happy man. What if I beat him there? He's probably be pissed. Embarrassed. Is there no pep in your steps, guys? Holy, that's far. There we go. No, no. Pebbles. Second is pretty good. I think he'll be impressed if we could, you know, stick to the road and all that. Okay, we're about halfway. You're not a bit of what? Why, Pebbles? How is that even close? <laughs> Jesus. See that smoke? Is the whole of fucking Neuhof on fire? Oh, I j okay, I see it now, yeah. Wow, okay, let's go, boys. Like, shouldn't we be going just a little faster? This seems relatively important. I'll meet you guys there, I guess. Led the men to Neuhof. Where's your master? In... in the paddock. <sighs> Crucifix? What kind of beasts could do this? Holy blood of the martyrs. What happened here? Why? It's Someone like came at night and hamstrung every one of them. The horses screaming must have woke poor Radek, the stable boy. And when he tried to stop them. And then my husband, when my husband tried to help them, they killed him too. And when they were done, they put a torch to the stables. My sincere condolences, ma'am. I swear we'll hunt those monsters down and make them pay for this. The horses were still alive when I came. 
We had to finish them off. All of them. The pain in their eyes. They couldn't understand how anyone could do this to them. Did they steal anything? Any horses? Nothing. They wanted blood, not coin. Did your husband quarrel lately? Was there anyone who might want revenge? He argued over the price of a saddle, maybe, but nothing... Nothing that could drive a man to... this. These are dark days when there's more kindness in horses than in men. Did you see anything? How many were there? Or what did they look like? We saw no one. Has anyone tried to follow their trail? No. We were fighting the blaze until now, and even if we weren't, what chance would any of us have against someone who could do this? Pox on it. Mount up and quarter the area. We have to find out where they went. Look for tracks and ask the folk if they saw anyone. Fuck, someone must have at least caught sight of them. Yes, yes sir. sir. What about me, Captain? What the hell use are you? You stay here. What? Please, what do you let mean? me do something. I could have a look around the area and see if they left any tracks. Well... If you must. Just don't get in anyone's way. Don't go too far and come back here when you're done. All we want is to be involved so badly. Scout the area, question the survivors, find out where the raiders went. Okay, I'm going to assume that they have inside covered. You guys see anything? Okay, cool. Nope. So, do we have a space to work with? Kinda. Okay, it looks like we're actually, we should be going out the exact opposite way. Let me see if I can talk to her. Smell. The stud farm owner. I saw him in Scarlet's a few times. His poor widow. Is there anything Ask. you can tell us? I... I can come back later if you... No. I saw you came with the soldiers, and the sooner you know everything, the sooner you'll catch those savages. I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but could you tell me about the raid? The noise woke us up. Me and Smill. We thought the horses were restless, or maybe some drunk had staggered here from the inn. Do you get drunks coming here a lot? Sometimes. But not this time. My husband went out to see what was going on. Then I just heard loud voices and screaming. It's so stupid. It didn't even occur to me at first that something could have happened to Smil. I didn't find out until the morning. Jeez. Okay. Did you recognize any of the voices you heard? No. But they spoke Czech, cursing like demons, even at each other. At each other? They quarreled. Yes. Something must have happened. Maybe they weren't supposed to kill and then somebody screwed up. And where did you hear this noise? Everywhere. It was chaos. I don't even know how many of them there were. I mean at the very start. Do you remember where you heard the noise come from then? I don't know. I just don't know. Hmm. Did you get a look at them? There's one man. Huge, and dressed all in black. 
Did you see him? No, I didn't. Who should I question about the raid? Did anyone here see anything? Jacob, the old stable boy. He even fought with them. From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wake. It might be a good idea to talk okay, to him. Okay, Jacob and Mark. Jindu was sleeping in the Ginger. stable. He might have seen something. I don't know of anyone else. Jacob, Mark, Ginger. Another useless soldier coming to ask questions. Okay, I'm trying to help. You should have fucking been here last night. So, 75 reputation. I don't know what this is. Arm wrestling? Alright, what is that? That's new. I'm not a soldier. I'm one of the survivors from Skalitz. Huh. I see, lad. I'm actually surprised well, he bought that with all the need soldier gear we're in. What in the world happened here? The bastards attacked us. At night, a little before dawn. And how did you come by that wound? I heard someone talking, so I went to look outside. Then I saw what they'd done to the horses. I shouted at those bastards. Caught one by the cloak and started beating him. Without a weapon? With just your fists? Yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me, the other started to come out then, so the raiders ran. All that's left is his cloak. You, you know got why? no idea why they did it. Something must have gone wrong for them. They hmm. ran off without taking anything. I want to hear the answer How to this you again. That I heard someone talking. I shouted at those bastards. Caught one by the cloak. By without a weapon. Yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me, the other starts to come okay, out. Okay, so the cloak might still be here. There's one man in particular. Huge. Dressed all in black. Voice loud enough to crack stone. Did you see him? Who the fuck do you think half killed me? So it was so he him. he really was here. The bastard. Can you help me? How? You know the area. How can I figure out which way they went? Hmm. They left in a hurry. You could see if there's a fence knocked down. Or okay, gets. that's good. Good idea. Very good idea. Okay, so I think we stay in this area. Where the others might be. Oh. No. Maybe these guys? Huh. I think this is uh, Bernard, if I'm not mistaken. Who's this? Uh oh. Poor wretch. He must have crawled here. If it was the horses they were after, there'll be even more of them. Look at the there's a horse stables. over there too. What went wrong? Like, okay, if they're if they're just here to like brutalize and maim, okay. But the whole arguing thing is kind of interesting. Could anyone be so cruel? Here's the Mark guy. <laughs> are you... Are you well? Leave me alone. Go away. Look, I know that it's difficult. But I only nice. need you to answer a few questions. I'm here because Sir Radzig sent me. Sir Radzig? Yes. What? 
That carries what do weight. What you need to know? What actually happened here? They... They killed the animals and... <laughs> Why did they kill them? Think carefully now. How did it all start? We... We heard the animals. Their shrieks. Then smell. He shouted. And they murdered him. So like... Did they want... Yeah, like, why the animals? You're certain it was the animals first, and then smell. Not the other way around. I'm certain. I'd never heard a sound like that before. <laughs> now I'll never forget it. Did they take anything? No. What so they wanted to stop that? these guys from going somewhere, right? Is that the idea? We ran outside, and it was chaos. Animals were dying, the stables were burning, and those demons everywhere. The stables were already burning. Didn't that happen after they fled? No. It was to set the blaze when they arrived. You said they were demons. No, just vermin. Worthless like figure human speech. vermin. How many of them were there? Not many. There were just a few that came after us, but more around the back. I heard them yelling at each other. And the argument. So they were yelling because of all the noise? No, something happened. They quarreled. In the back? Where? Towards the woods. To the north. They were trying to get away. Okay. So some of them were running away and the others were fighting? Aye. For a time. Then more of us came out and we fought back, so the others fled as well. So it's like, it feels like maybe they screwed up. Where? Where did they run to? To the north. Into the woods. Like maybe they made a mistake or something. Thanks. That's all I needed to ask. Okay, so we question Mark. Um, there's also Zora, widow of the late farm owner Jacob, the old stale boy. Oh, Ginger, sorry. We talked to Zora. Ginger, who might have seen something from the barn. <laughs> Red hair, ginger, ginger. What? Who's there? Easy. I just came to ask. I don't know anything. Are you hurt? No, no, nothing. Not a scratch. What really happened here? I don't know. Someone attacked. I, I don't know who. You didn't happen to hear where they came from? No! I didn't see a thing. All right. You were very helpful. Thank you. Uh, let's check to the north where they said. This was the direction, I believe. Scout the area. I must scout out the area to the north of the stud farm. And then explore the area to the north of the farm. All right. So we're a bit out here. Hold on, let's see what this is. It's probably just another cross or... Oh, archery range. Okay. Let's try and find, like, the fence or what have you that they may have knocked down. That was a good piece of advice. I mean, there's rubble, but nothing too crazy. And if we really want, yeah, I think we need to cross. Could look for signs of blood. What's this? Oh, beehives. Okay.
Let's go with the perimeter of the woods, but... Is this still part of it? It is. Do we see anything from up higher? Oh, here we go. They went deeper and deeper, for sure. It's all the area to the north of the farm. <laughs> Find those footpaths path to lead me to run. <laughs> They went deeper and deeper, for sure. Now explore the clearing in the woods. Which is just beyond where we're at. We're definitely on onto them, though. 